Andrew, aka Quasi from Quasi's Bell Tower. And I'm your brother Brian from Brother Brian Gaming. And this is Point Rock Review. Start us off on this. Our first beer for the night is The Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey, Gollum Precious Pills. Which is probably gonna let you know probably how old this is if it's from An Unexpected Journey, which uh, is the first of the Hobbit movies, and we've already seen all three of them. Um, we got some nice stuff. I'm gonna throw a picture, a close up of some of this up there, but we got our a nice uh, something written in, uh, is that Dwarvish? Yeah, Elvish? Dwarvish Ruins, yeah. That's really cool, but 9.0 alcohol by volume. Wow, Ooh, we're going with the high stuff first. Um, let's see. The Tale of Gollum. Bear with me. Uh, once a hobbit named Smeagol, Gollum's body and soul have been poisoned by the power of a small plain gold ring that has kept hidden deep. That has kept hidden. Okay, it doesn't sound proper, proper English to me, but that's what it says. That has kept hidden deep in the dark cavern within the Misty Mountains. Unaware of the true nature of the ring, Gollum knows only that it is more precious to him than life itself. Preciously precious. And then it says New Line Cinema, MGM, Warner Brothers Entertainment Incorporated. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. I'm curious to see who puts us out. Oh, Fishtail Ales. And that's okay. the end of that. The top actually says, actually just says Fishtail Ales. Oh, okay. Cool. I'm sure it's a popper. Yep. Yes, it is. Give that a smell. Why do you smell it hoist? It's got alcohol in it. That's weird. Smells like beer, though. It smells doesn't smell anything fancy. It smells like a normal beer to me, I think. I don't know what to make of this, but we're going to pour this and see what to make of this. I know. We've had so many Sam Adams lately that I'm like, it's just another Sam Adams. I see floaty shit in here. Really? <laughs> That's kind of scary. Don't tell me that. Okay, that's, that's about half that. That's about half, let's find out. Floaty shit. Don't tell me that. Oh, I see what you're saying. You see, what, you see that? Yeah, it's like it's been sitting there way too long. And there we go. One beer that's probably been sitting in a store that we got this from probably for how many years probably? At least what? Six years? Five years? About there? About there. So, uh. It still smells like a normal beer. I mean, it just. Yeah, that just looks really, uh. God, man. I hope I can, like, hope I can handle this because my stomach has not been handling this stuff lately. It's kind of. It, it's got like a bit of a. It's just got a booty smell to it. Like a nectarine yeah. smell to it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, it does. Well, there's only one way to find out. Do the Hobbit. Oy. Oh. Yeah, it's got like an apricot taste to it. Yeah, yeah. it does. Yeah, it's got a fruity taste to it. I just even say when it was bottled. Good question. Yeah, we've been holding on to this beer for at least, uh, what, nine months, 12 months or something? Yeah, well, I don't know how long it's been sitting on the shelf, shelf in the store yeah, either. The store, yeah, yeah. That looks interesting. Let's buy that. Yeah, because <laughs> the place we go to get this uh, beer, well, I'll actually plug them anyways, um, Marcy Beverage Outlet. We go there because they have nice. singles of all kinds of different beers, and they've got beers from overseas, and but now I think it's called Marcy Beverage, beverage discount. discount. Yeah, discount or something. Yeah, but uh, yeah, they have all kinds of different beers there. You know, you got your normal six twelves, twenty fours, whatever else, but they always have everything from everywhere. 
and yeah. a lot of variety. So we usually get a, like a variety pack or two, and that's where we get a lot of our weird, out of the ordinary beers from. Like these. Like these, like the Hobbit here. Oh man, I, I don't like the Hobbit. I my tongue feels like I licked a dirty Hobbit. Maybe that's why it's got its precious pills. Pills. Dirty, stinking Hobbitses. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it definitely tastes like it's something from <laughs> from a long, long time ago. Oh, man. This is not good. This is not good. Um, I don't find it that bad. I think uh, maybe while we were pouring it halfway through, we should have shook it up a little bit or stirred it up more. Uh, maybe, maybe. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if it would help, though. <laughs> but Brian's not caring too much. No, it, uh, no. Uh, yeah, this is something, if I drank this, I think it needs to be drank with some kind of meal. Like it needs uh, some kind of beef or, or uh, steak or um, fish or, or, or some, like a pork chop or something. I don't know. I think if you're going to drink this with a meal, how you should do this, you should open it up. And you should pour it down the, string, the, the, the sink and then get yourself a Heineken because this is not. This is not. <laughs> I don't think it's that bad. I do. I, I could. I, could I, I don't ever see myself drinking this ever again. I, I, I wouldn't buy it again, honestly. I wouldn't buy it again. Um, uh, it was just one of those beers we saw and we thought, eh, what the hell? Gotta try it. Gotta know what it tastes like. They made it for the movie, so. <laughs> try to make a couple extra bucks off their beer. Yeah. <sighs> Like, well, we don't know how to sell this because no one's going to buy it. Oh, I got an idea. Why don't we that just came back up. slap a Hobbit label on it? We'll put a picture of the Gollum on there. Everybody likes the Gollum. He's cute. I wouldn't say it's bad, bad. I know you don't like it. Um, surprisingly, it's, it's, I don't know what it is. It's not that, it's, I don't know, it's that bad, but no, I wouldn't buy it again. It tastes a little bit like if you have like an orange or a nectarine or a, or a grapefruit it's out and all you're doing is chewing on the, the skin that's in between each section that's got that's kind of what, what what it tastes like for me but it's not chewy just to let you guys know no it just it has that that taste that uh that texture is a little bit there too in a weird way but and is it me or is it does it seem i don't know it's probably just me but it, it seems a little smoky yes it is very yeah because every time I, I burped it up a couple times it was like Mmm, this would go good with a meal. <laughs> For our next beer, we have the Trooper. Premium British beer. Um, if you guys are fans of Iron Maiden, you guys know what this is. Probably know what this is. Premium British beer handcrafted by Robinson's Brewery. 4.7% alcohol by volume. Let's see what it says on the back. Onward, onward, rode the 600. The charge of the Light Brigade, which inspired the Iron Maiden song The Trooper, took place at the Battle of Balaclava, 1854, during the Crimean War, when 600 British cavalry courageously charged the massed Russian artillery. This gallant but foolhardy assault resulted in a massive loss of life and came about due to a misunderstanding of an order given by the commanding officer, Lord Raglan. Do you know who he is? Neither do I. <laughs> Trooper is a premium British beer inspired by Iron Maiden and handcrafted at Robinson's Brewery. Being a real estate enthusiast, vocalist Bruce Dickinson uh, has developed a beer which has true depth of character. Malt flavors and citric notes form a unique blend of Bobeck Goldings and Cascade Hops dominate this deep golden ale. And that's basically where that ends. Product of England... Um, the government warning. If you're pregnant, don't drink. <laughs> and that's about it. That's it. Okay. Let's pop this bad boy open and see what we're getting ourselves into. I want to hum the Iron Maiden when we're doing this. The only one I can think of right now is Run to the Hills. My favorite Run. one. Six, six, six. The number of the bees. Well, that's a good one, too. <clears throat> Maybe I'm close. Maybe, maybe we'll find out.
Pretty close. Nice. I say that's the right on the dot, pretty much. Nice. Yay. Let's see what this smells like. Oh, it, that's got like a caramely taste to it. You can taste that. I smell that. It sort of. There is something there. Mm. Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's taste it to and find out. Trooper, Iron Maiden. To the trooper. That's different. That is different. I don't think I've had anything like that before. I wish I could describe it to you, but I can't right now. That's almost got, I don't know if it's, I know we, I don't, it's almost got a smoky taste to it too. Yes. Um. Hmm. Well, it being a British beer or British lager or ale, what was it? A British, British ale. British ale. I'm not surprised it's got a smoky hit to it. At least that's what I'm getting from it, it's the smoky hint. Now I gotta look because of... Yeah, L. I don't know, it's uh... I'm sure if you were in, you know, overseas in Britain or whatever else, you'd probably enjoy this. Um, probably. I'm not saying I don't enjoy it, I'm trying to wrap my, my mind around it, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't think it would be a beer I would order again. I don't think so either. No, it's not. Uh, it's not quite there for me. Um, it could be the smokiness to it. I don't know, but I really don't mind this. I don't mind smoking beer. No, me neither. I mean, I I can tolerate this. This is this is not bad. I mean, if uh, if I was at someone's house and they say I got a six pack of Trooper. I would probably drink another one, but uh, I don't see myself buying a six pack at all. No. I mean, the design on the bottle and everything else—that's just that's gorgeous. badass. You know, that's that's awesome. I'm, that's a beer that's going to get put up on the wall, just like the Hobbit one. I, I would. <laughs> I'm not going to. I'm not going to get rid of those. I'm keeping those ones. But overall, I don't know. I'm just trying to wrap my mind around this flavor. Cascade hops is that? I guess so. Huh. Yeah. And it's, it's just def it's definitely hops we've never had before, so that's probably why it tastes weird to us. I've never heard of those hops before, so that's different to me. At least not that I know of or I can think of. Not too bad all around. Not too bad. Um, I've obviously had a lot better, but uh, if you've seen some of the episodes we've been doing as of late, you know I've had a lot worse. <laughs> Very true. Very true. Let you explain that. I don't know how you want to do it. You can. Okay, go for it then. It's recording. Yes, it is recording. We fucked up. Don't know how it happened, but we lost the review for this episode. Naturally, you've seen us drink it, but uh, we get to do the review all over again because we lost it. We are damaged people. <laughs> okay, so for the Hobbit, which this was, what was this again uh, for alcohol on it? I think that was 9.0. Yeah, 9.0. Um, yes, 9.0. Um, the alcohol volume, great. That's all fine and dandy. Um, but I honestly think this is going to fall under, if I remember correctly, it fell under par. Mm -hmm. And I think I gave it a 2. Yeah, as messed up as I was that, that night... Uh... I remember the foulness that was the Hobbit, mm -hmm. and uh, I I gave it a 1.5, just because uh, it was bad. <laughs> it was just that bad. Mm -hmm. And then we've got the Iron Maiden Trooper, and um, I think I gave it a 2.5. I think I had just had it fall just under par. It just didn't quite meet the bar. Yeah, I don't really remember much what this tasted like. I, I do remember uh, I didn't care for it. But it was better than it that. Was, yeah, it was definitely better than, better than The Hobbit. And uh, I also gave it a 2.5. So that's it, guys. So that's two beers, two reviews, and two more reasons to click that like button. Until next time. Bye-bye.